this is the Worksman Cycle Personal Activity Vehicle 3 Stretch. <laughs> and it is quite the bike, let me tell you. Uh, it's just such a an interesting looking bike, you know? Any, anything with kind of a bucket seat like this, you got your arm rests and the big sort of the chopper uh, handlebars here, <laughs> almost like ape hangers or something. But it's tons of fun to ride and it's super durable. So it's designed to accommodate up to 550 pounds. It's gotta be one of the most like heavy load bearing electric bikes I've ever seen. And uh, you know, it's it's still got some of those like creature comforts here. You got a little fender up front and nice long chain guard. You're gonna wanna be careful with this though so you don't kind of bump it and bend it when you're getting on and off. It's got a nice little support right there. And, and these funky pedals, I mean, look at these. They've got uh, adjustable straps so that you can kind of keep your feet from from falling down you can just rest them relax a little bit it's it's really you know they call it the personal activity vehicle and it, it feels a little bit more like a vehicle because of some of these extras uh, so in the back check this out kenda flame tires these are three inches wide they've got flame print on the tread that's kind of cool this is 11 gauge spokes some of the thickest spokes i've ever seen on a bicycle so we're getting up into like motorcycle territory here and then up front by comparison you can see this is 20 by 1.75 much skinnier a little bit lighter easier to steer and then we've got uh, 12 gauge spokes so still fairly thick fairly sturdy 500 watt motor peak output a thousand watts now this thing is intense and it's uh, really smooth and really bulletproof the way they've designed it. It doesn't have gears inside. It's just a bunch of magnets around the edge. It's quiet. It comes on in a nice, like kind of a sloping um, power curve there. But they've still got this big torque arm just so that it won't, you know, damage the, the dropouts there. Pretty nice. Very cool. The brake up here is a little bit questionable to me. It's kind of the really old fashioned basic style, kind of a linear pro C clamp design. But. Not to worry, you've got kind of the old fashioned coaster brake. So in the back, if you if you kind of crank those pedals backwards, you're gonna slam on the brakes and, and get some good stopping power. Top speed on this thing is 20 miles per hour. But you can actually turn that down a little bit if you want to. There's a lot of adjustability in the display and I'm gonna go over that a little bit later. It's just nice to be able to set this thing up, feel comfortable, feel very stable know that you can carry a bunch of gear in this like wire mesh basket feels really solid and the battery pack is is just mounted right in the middle there i think i would leave it on most of the time myself but this is a larger bike and if you live somewhere where it gets really hot or really cold and you want to protect that or maybe charge it inside it is removable you gotta twist the key down here to the left and then you, you gotta pull it out so it's a little bit of doing you kind of got to get your hand back in here but you gotta pull the key out because once you slide the battery this way, it would run into the cage otherwise. And you can see on the side of the battery, this is the charging port. And then back here, this is the actual charging unit. Three amps, it's a little bit faster. Nice aluminum casing. Same with the battery box, aluminum. So you can put stuff around it and on top of it and it should hold up pretty well. I mean, you don't, you don't want it to overheat or anything, but it's designed to be a little bit more durable. That's what I'm getting at. And I love that it's black. It just kind of blends in with the whole thing. It's a good looking bike in that sense. And you know, the handle so you can kind of carry it around. This isn't quite as proprietary as a lot of electric bikes. Like it's, it's partially, um, I guess it's a combination I should say. Like you got Worksman, they make the bicycle and then you've got electric bike kit and they make these kits and stuff. And then you've got you know, electrictrike.com, which is bringing the two of them together. It's kind of a partnership that way. So if you wanted, you could buy these pieces separately and sort of DIY and put this together yourself, or you could build it pre-built like this, and uh, this would cost $21.98. So you're paying a little bit more for, you know, someone else having set it up right, and you got the really beautiful display. It's all integrated, you got the twist throttle, all set up with the, the control ring over there even the brakes this is an e-bike specific brake it's not the the highest end brake but it's whooshing with a motor inhibitor built right in and this little parking brake here so it's it's meant for trikes so that the bike doesn't roll away on you which i think is pretty cool um anyway if you wanted to buy this i mentioned it's 21.98 a little bit more expensive um 
you'd actually have to pay for shipping too. It's an additional $350. So the price adds up a little bit. But the cool thing is it comes fully assembled, ready to ride. And this thing is 128 pounds. So, you know, shipping costs more when you when you're way when you're sending that that kind of a load here. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the, the larger battery, 48 volt, 10 amp hour, it just weighs more. It's like 10 pounds right there, 12 pounds for that motor up front. And then this big seat, I don't know exactly how much it weighs, but it's got these cool drain holes and it's really, you know, cush, just get a lot of support, including for your back. And then these, uh, these armrests, we're looking at the black frame right here, but what Worksman Cycles is like made in America, um, East Coast, and they, they can do this in a bunch of different colors and they have a few more options on their website. So you can work with electrictrike.com to be like, hey, you know, I want that one. You give them a call and say, but I want it in this color or I want, you know, this or that other feature. Kind of go to the Worksman Cycles website and go to their site and they'll work with you. Um, actually with one of their engineers here, this is Alec. Hey, Court. Hey, everybody. Hey, it's good to see you again, man. Yeah, I, I appreciate the help. Um, yeah. This is a fun one that we've this, been looking at here. These guys, you know, we've been working with Worksman for years, and they're, they're building bikes in the USA, which is great. And uh, they're close to us as well, so we can get frames in quickly. We can build the wheels quickly, set this up. Uh, this bike is so heavy duty. Um, this seat is super comfortable. This is like a bucket seat. It's almost like what you would find in a car. The pedal straps actually, Worksman has a couple varieties of pedals with straps, and we've been using similar pedals on our Liberty trike some. Yeah, that's right, and Worksman makes those for you, exactly. don't they? Exactly, yeah. exactly. But Worksman's also building the frames for our Liberty trike. And Just a second, before yeah. we get too far off track, you know, again, electrictrike.com, they, they kind of have like anything <laughs> that you want. The Liberty trike is, it's a little bit smaller. It folds in half. It comes apart completely. It might be kind of a good like his and hers sort of thing if you wanted a trike like this. And um, they also have that one over there. That's the Sun traditional. You know, it's traditional looking, right? But it's still got that really big saddle and uh, uses a very similar drive system, but not the 48 volts. So this one has a little bit more torque. So exactly. sorry to, no, I didn't want to cut I, you off. That's great. Uh, Court mentioned the larger battery. We'll use this so you can get more power, more torque for hill climbing. Yeah. Because this is such a heavy duty bike, uh, we see heavier riders on it. The 550 pound weight limit from Worksman is, is where this really shines. It's great for getting some exercise on the bike path. Yeah. It's got the reverse. That's, um, an, that's a great point. So you Thank you. You can parallel you. park this thing. <laughs> it, it's really a manageable bike, even though it's so heavy. You can, you know, you can, you can back it into your garage. We don't want to back right over the charger, though. This, I might back this over is the, the this is where the bike basket comes in handy. Um, I, that's my favorite because you know a lot of these trikes don't have bottle cages or anything yeah. like that. You you sort of end up with just you know maybe you wear your backpack, but then you wear it on the front. Having a basket's a huge deal. This could be your, your grocery get or something. The thing about an e-bike, you don't need a license to yep. drive this. You don't need insurance. Um, and it's just classified as a bicycle. This one, as you were saying, it's got it's got the throttle, twist throttle really nicely integrated. But through the display, you can disable that if you want, have pedal assist only. Yep. Or you could flip it around and be like, no, I only want uh, pedal assist. And, you yep. know, on this one, um, you do have that 12 magnet cadence sensor yep. as with the other ones. Yep. So, you know, very responsive that way. When you pedal, it picks up the signal that you're moving those cranks. And it's not so, um, you know, it's not so... It doesn't require you to push so much as just have some movement there. That's what it's really measuring. So you could still get that a little bit of a stretch and stuff, and you can pedal as fast as you want, but you don't have to strain your knees. That's something important to me because I have a little bit of a knee injury, and I'm actually I've been a little bit sick lately, so I apologize for my voice. I lost it the other day. I'm just happy to be out here um, checking out the bikes. So maybe we can go through the steps here. We, we've charged the battery turn that key to the on position there that's the first step then you come up here and you press this little m button for a few seconds and then that turns the display on i i really like this thing it does swivel forward and backward to reduce glare it's really right in your face like it's a huge display too so i haven't had any problem determining what speed i'm going or how much battery capacity is remaining it's not removable that's one of my gripes um before i get to i i can't believe i was kind of skipped over this or getting excited this has an internally geared Nexus three-speed hub. It's kind of a funky shifter up here with the, the thumb triggers and stuff. But that's kind of nice when you're when you're dealing with something that's this heavy, being able to shift some gears and, and actually use that in conjunction with pedal assist. 
I, I just didn't want to miss that. That's that's unique. A lot of trikes, like including the Sun over there, that's just a single speed. And you were saying they, they offer this one in single speed. Yeah you, yeah, you can get a number of options. I think you can get a seven speed as well. Oh, the wow. internal gears are cool because you can shift even when you're stopped. Yeah. And the shifting is a lot easier than like if you rode a derailleur bike. We have a lot of elderly customers. If you rode a derailleur years ago, uh, you have to sort of finesse the shifting. You yeah. have to let up on your pedaling. With a three speed, you do whatever you want. You just hit it when you want to shift, whether you're going or not. Don't mind if I do. Let's just get up here and see what we can. Yeah. How does this thing work? You want to shift it? For, oh, there, yeah. there it goes. Yeah, so it's a trigger style shifter. So it, it'll go down and up. There and we down go. Down. Yeah. Thank you. This one, we were just getting it set up for this review. They were building it kind of to spec for me. And I, I wanted to mention that the seat kind of slides around and stuff. There's some adjustability here. So even though this is a one size fits all, it's super tough chromoly steel frame and stuff, there is some, uh, some adjustment so that you can, you know, hopefully reach that pedals and. That's one of the things that you guys offer. Yep. So let's get back to how it works. We were up here, we're at the cockpit. I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat. Just kinda sit down like that, yeah. That's nice, it's nice. You don't have to worry about the bike tip in or anything. Um, so back up here to the display. You can see there's a battery level indicator at the top and it has a ton of ticks, but it's really just five chunks. So 20% increments, it's kinda standard. And below it, you got the speed, so that's how fast I'm currently going, zero miles per hour. And then down here, this is your power level. So you can go all the way from zero, which just turns this into a bicycle, no power, no throttle, up to one, which is, you know, low speed, quiet operation. And unfortunately, you can't override that with the throttle. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, it's great. You're in assist, you're going slow, and then you add power with the throttle. Not the case here. It's designed to just fully operate at low speed, kind of a safety thing. So, you know, I'm gonna, I wanna demonstrate that real quick. I'm just, whoop, turning it like that. I got it in reverse. This is top speed in uh, power level one. Not too fast, but very stable, you know, and very quiet. So I appreciate that. Below it, you can see the odometer. And then if I hit that M button over here a couple more times, we go to trip A and then average speed up top, trip B and max speed up top. So you've, you've got a bunch of different readouts. If it gets dark, you can hold the up button here for a couple seconds and this backlights, which is really nice. But then on the other hand, it's like right in your face and it could kind of be blinding you. So you can turn it off too, which is, which is wonderful. And then um, if you want, you can enter the, the display settings and change that top speed, change how sensitive the pedal assist is. You can even change sort of the, the battery curve. So if someday you put a different battery on this, it's all adjustable and that's what's really great. It's much more open source on this. So I'm gonna take it up to level five, get those feet clamps all put in there. Here we go, people. Let's gun it. Oh yeah. Pretty zippy. Oh, yeah. It's not quite as tight as some of the other recumbents because it's got this big swing arm out here. You do have to, you know, move your arms a bit more. But in my experience, it actually turns, you know, it's still got a pretty tight turning radius. It's just a ton of fun. I'm gonna hit the brakes. Oh yeah, did you hear that? We got a little bit of a squeal going on. Try that one more time. Get some, get some speed going here. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so let's see what else we can go do here. Hey buddy. Hey. Would you mind hopping on this thing and giving a little... Like it's always fun to get the third person perspective. I might come on the other side just to get that sun just right. This thing. It's the other thing, the seat isn't super high up on this, so sitting down isn't quite as, as difficult or like a balancing act as some of the the other bikes, you've got two wheels up front, and they call those tadpole trikes, where this is a more traditional trike like this, like a tricycle. Um, yeah, okay, so let's do it. I'll give a little juice here. Looking 
good. You got away from me. There you go. <laughs> Okay. It's really comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, Alec, I've had a blast. We've been reviewing uh, bikes all day, checking out the different ones, getting appreciation for, um, you know, just how unique these things can be. Uh, this is a fun one to end the day with because it is just so relaxing. It's like a lounger. This is where you want to be at the end of the day. And that's the personal activity vehicle PAV3 from Worksman, electrictrike.com. For the full write-up on this, including some measurements on width and length and everything, we'll see you back at the site, electricbikereview.com. And of course, when you're riding out there, you've got something like this a little bit lower. You know, might want to have a light on the back or on the front. Maybe get a light on your helmet or something like that. Just be safe, you know, and have fun.